This mini-built high-performance air compressor is for those of you that have a 1987 and up Wrangler that are looking to have a compressor that you can use to air up tires after you're done wheeling or to blow up any sort of toys at your campsite. This is going to be a much bigger compressor than some of the other ones available, but it's also going to move a lot more CFM. And that's what it's all about when you're looking at a compressor to fill up tires. It's not so much about the pressure, it's more about the volume. When you have a big 35, 37, even a 33 inch tire, you need a large volume of air, but you don't need it to be at a very high pressure. You're only filling your tires up between 32 and 37 pounds anyway. Way. So that's what this is going to give you. This is going to give you very large amounts of volume of air at the pressure you need it. In fact, this is going to push air at 5.65 cubic feet per minute when it's not under any load. So of course, when you're at 20 to 30 pounds, it's going to, going to be less than that. But even under zero PSI load, this is moving a lot more air than a lot of the other compressors out there. And again, that's what you're looking for if you want a compressor that will fill up your tires. This is going to be a portable compressor, so it comes in a carrying case, has everything you need to air up tires. You're also going to be able to fill up any sort of sports equipment, soccer balls, footballs, whatever you might need around the campsite with this compressor. As you can see here, it's designed to just clip right onto the battery and be in use. Then you can tuck it back in the bag, store it when you don't need it. Now, that's gonna be different from a lot of the onboard air systems. An onboard air system generally is going to have a hard-mounted compressor. It's hardwired, it's always going to be there, and most of them will also have a tank of one size or another. This is going to be a little bit different. Now, because this does not have a tank, you are probably not going to be able to run any air tools off of this. However, you are going to be able to fill up tires very quickly. And if that's what you're looking for, this is going to be a nice setup that will save you a lot of money over those onboard air systems and also be a much easier install because you're not really installing this. You're just using it when you need it and putting it aside when you don't. So like I said before, this is gonna be a pretty complete kit for you. You're gonna have your carrying case over here. Of course, the compressor itself uh, that has a set of alligator clips on it. So you're gonna hook that right onto your battery in order to power it. Over here's your on off switch and also a circuit breaker just in case you have any sort of overheating issues. Um, this is going to be what you're gonna use for filling up your tires. This has a quick disconnect that will connect directly onto your compressor. You're gonna be able to screw the other end directly onto your uh, valve stem so you don't have to actually sit there and hold it. Of course, it has an inline uh, air gauge there. It's gonna tell you how many pounds of pressure you have in your tires and it also has a deflator button on the back so if you do over inflate a little bit you can always get back down to the pressure that you need. Over here is going to be uh, a coiled air line that can go in line between these two so that you don't have to drag this compressor around. You can put it somewhere centrally located uh, close enough to the battery that your alligator clips will reach and then be able to stretch your air line to get to all four tires or even to a buddy's tires to help them air up as well. So again, not really an installation of this compressor. It is really just designed to be pulled out, hooked up, used, and then put back away again when you're finished with it. If you did want to hard mount this, you could. You could find a spot to bolt this down, uh, clip the alligator clips off of this, and power it uh, constant, but you would also have to put in some sort of switch and it gets a little bit messy. This is really designed to be a portable air compressor. So as long as you're using it like that, no real install, it'll only take you a minute to take it out of the bag, hook up the alligator clips, and start airing up tires. This kit that you see here comes in at right around $160, and I think that's a very fair price, especially when you consider your dollars per CFM. Again, this is a uh, compressor that's going to move a very high volume of air, which is really what you're looking for to air up tires. And for that, I think it's a very fair price. Again, if you're looking for something that's going to have a tank, that's going to be more of an onboard air system to run lockers, air tools, that type of thing, you're probably going to end up spending a few dollars more on that type of system. But as far as a portable compressor that moves a lot of CFM, I think $160 is a fair price. So if you're looking for a portable compressor to air up tires when you're done hitting the trails, I definitely recommend taking a look at this one from Smittybilt and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.